Prayer is very important because it is an opportunity to remember the God. To really understand the heart of God, we need to pray. Before kicking off this program, let us start by remembering our God for which I welcome Joy Deep Singh Gulati, which will be followed by prayer song by Parul Bharadwaj. All of you are requested to join your hands and close your eyes. Our Father in heaven, holy be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Do not bring us to the test, but deliver us from our evil. Amen. Holy God, Holy the Mighty, Holy the Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy the Mighty, Holy that Mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy the Mighty, Holy the Mortal, have mercy on us. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning. Give me oil in my lamp, I pray. Give me oil in my lamp, keep me burning, burning, burning. Keep me burning till the end of day. Sing together, sing together, sing together to the King of Kings. Sing together, sing together, sing together. Give me joy in my heart, keep me singing. Give me joy in my heart, I pray. Give me joy in my heart, keep me singing, singing, singing. Keep me singing till the end of day. Sing together, sing together, sing together to the King of Kings. Sing together, sing together, sing together to the king thank you jodi joydeep and paru i now welcome kanishka nagar to share the mission of our school mission to evaluate values in students so that we will have socially intellectually emotionally spiritually and morally upright citizens to provide them with a conductive environment to infuse a sense of responsibility self discipline and integrity to promote creative thinking of the students so that they may excel in society and become capable to face challenges in life to love mother earth and to have an awakening uh, for new concepts for sustaining the integrity of humanity and creation thank you kanishka to continue let us hear from rudra bharadwaj who will describe our vision which will then be followed with our motto by rudrakshi bharadwaj the vision of our school is the center of excellence exploring new frontiers in the realm of education of national building everybody in their lives have a motto every parent have a motto to provide their children a fine education every student have a motto to fulfill their parents dream and many more even many even do have a motto to spread awareness about any topic the motto of today's event is to get away of plastic bottles and plastic bags that pollute the environment and instead of spreading beauty they spread dirt several cows in india every day die you may think why just because of us we people throw the plastic bottles and plastic bags here and there and the hungry cows eat them and the harmful plastic bags destroy their digestive system completely nothing is left over and they give the cow only one day to survive and this cycle continues many die, many cow die due to this we can stop this but we are not if we burn a plastic bag we can't even imagine the amount of co2 released from it 
We have polluted this environment and we can stop it by many ways. First way, reduce, reuse and recycle. We may, we may know that many plastics are, many plastic companies are there that manufacture the plastic in that kind that it could be recycled. But we are not throwing it in the recycle box. Second point, stop using plastic bags. In plastic bags, we store our food and that is harmful for us too. And when we throw them in the environment, it is harmful for the street dogs, street cows and many animals. Third way, we could use a cloth, uh, we can make a bag through a cloth instead of using these plastic bags. We know that how harmful it is for us because the uh, plastic also go inside of us because of that. There are many more ways also. We have polluted this environment and we have to stop it. And as I have said earlier that everything has a motto, so motto of our school is Learn today, lead tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, Rudra and Rudrakshi Bharadwaj. Let's hear the thought of the day for which I invite Aditi Sharma. Good morning to all of you. My name is Aditi Sharma from Class 8 day. Today's thought of the day is do not wait for tomorrow because tomorrow does not wait for you. Therefore, always tomorrow comes tomorrow. I repeat my thought. Do not wait for tomorrow because tomorrow does not wait for you. Uh, therefore, tomorrow always come tomorrow. Thank you. Now let us take a pledge for our country for which I invite Anandi Vajina Dhapse. All of you take pledge position. India is my country. All Indians are my brothers and sisters. I love my country and I am proud of its rich and varied heritage. I shall always strive to be worthy of it. I shall give my parents, teachers, and all the elders respect and treat everyone with courtesy to my country and my people. I pledge my devotion in their well-being and prosperity alone lies my happiness. I hope all of you are enjoying this important day for our mother nature. To understand more about Plastic Free Day, let me invite Shrishti Tyagi to elaborate more on this topic. initiative that aims to eliminate the use of single-use plastic bags in the world. When we go to the shop to buy something, the shopkeeper gives those things in polythene bags. Sometimes we use disposable thermocol plates and cups in the social gatherings. So a lot of plastic waste is generated daily and this plastic waste keeps on accumulating in our homes. Ultimately, the plastic finds its way to the garbage. Plastic waste is a big threat to our environment. This is because plastic are non-biodegradable substances that cannot be break down easily into simple harmonious substances through natural processes such as action of bacteria. Thank you. Thank you, Srishti. Hi everyone, this is me Anushka Chha. Today I am going to tell you why do we celebrate International Plastic Day and on which day it is celebrated. International Plastic Bag Free Day is celebrated when the world reminds itself of the importance to reduce the usage in plastic in everyday life. Every year the day is observed to create awareness about life threat caused by plastic pollution to the natural environment be it land or marine life. As the name suggests, the initiative aims to be ecstatic the use of single-use plastic bags which have proven to be extremely detrimental to the environment. It has been often suggested that paper or cloth bags are a perfect alternative for a single-use plastic. We also celebrate International Plastic Bag Free Day in order to limit the amount of single-use plastic. Now talking about on which day is International Plastic Bag Free Day is celebrated, it is celebrated every year on 3 July. Thank you so much. Have a nice day ahead. The poly bags thrown here and there are responsible for choking our drains and sewer lines.
we throw poly bags wrappers of chips biscuits other eatables and disposal plastics bottles etc on the road and in the park so not only makes the environment looks ugly but also provide as a breeding ground for insects and germs causing diseases animals especially cow eat the food waste from the garbage dumps during eating the waste they sometimes swallow the plastic bottles and the wrappers of food etc plastic material chalk their respiratory system or sometimes digestive tract and can be the cause of their death let us see some beautiful creativities in the form of posters and reusable items created by our friends hello everyone today i am going to tell about two types of bin first the green bin is also known as biodegradable bin and the second blue bin is also known as non biodegradable bin in the green bin we can dump waste such as vegetable peels leftover food which are biodegradable in nature and in the blue bin we can dump waste such as plastic poly bags plastic cups and plastic wrappers thank you friends let us now proceed with another prayer by all the participants of today's celebration we should also develop environment friendly habits to reduce harmful effects associated with associated with plastics we should remember the five r principles that are reduce reuse recycle recover and residual management the national anthem is like the national symbol of a country it represents the tradition history and beliefs of a nation to represent these points about our india i invite gorika sharma to take over the national an anthem of our country so now i request you all to get ready for the national anthem so please be in your attention position let's start जन गन मन अधिनायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता पंजाब सिंध गुजरात मराठा द्राविड उत्कल बंग विंध्य हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्छल जल शुभ नाम जागे तब शुभ आशीष मांगे गाहे तब जय गाथा जन गन